going on everyone? This is Barrett with Espresso Outlet. Tonight I have the M6 fired up. I've had people asking me to get the M6 fired up. And we have some Good Brothers Espresso Blend. And there's our set point. Uh, I have it set at about, it's, it's running too hot. Let's get it to cool down a little. Let's get it to cool down quite a bit before we charge this roaster. I'll probably just even set it on 20. So I want this thing to cool down quite a bit. And like I said, I have about 500 grams of this Good Brothers Espresso Blend. I have it right behind me. If you're not familiar, he sells roasted beans, but he's also been selling green beans, which has been awesome for us home roasters. And what's really cool about it is you can buy some of his roasted beans and you can see how it's supposed to turn out as well as compare your roast against his roast. So if you like his beans and like his coffee, then that's something to shoot for. Uh, we have, I'm trying to check this. I don't know why it is so dang hot. It just needs to cool down a lot. I let it heat up and had the set value way too high on this M6. If I was doing the full 700 grams, it'd probably be fine, but I really want that charge temp to be about 180, 175 degrees. So we dropped it down to about 200. Okay, we're getting pretty close to about that 175 that I'm looking for on this M6. That might not be where you wanna charge at, but you'll want to make sure that your door is completely shut and do a last check on your chaff bin. Make sure that there's no chaff in there. That's something that I forget to do. And you don't want to get your beans smelling just smoky and gross. So we're going to turn this damper way down and we're going to click the start button. I've loaded the, the 500 grams of the Good Brothers Espresso Blend and I'm going to click start and we're going to drop. And as I drop, I'm going to hit the charge button on the screen of Kaleido. I want to make sure I don't have, there's usually like two or three beans that get stuck in the top. It's not much to sweep them down. And we have the heat turned way back right now. The heat's at 20. And we're really going into the drying stage right now. So we're wanting to dry these beans. Also know, have, make sure your trier is pointed down because if you have it pointed up, you might get a couple beans in there. And when you're done with the roast, you're gonna have some that aren't quite as roasted. So I usually dry for about a minute to a minute and a half, uh, sometimes up to two minutes. The heat is pretty high right now. I'm gonna turn the damper up to probably 40 and leave it on at least 40. I leave the drum on 100 pretty much all the time. And we're kind of hitting the turning point a little bit quick, not by a whole lot. If this was a couple more beans in there, it probably wouldn't be quite so fast. But we're at about a minute right now. We're going to wait till a minute and a half, and then we're going to save the dry in. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and say dry end. And I want everyone to note that your charge temp and your dry time and your turning point, it's gonna be different depending upon the beans that you select. These espresso blend, they can take quite a bit of heat. I don't wanna to go too fast in this M6, at least in my experience. It can go a little bit too quick for me on the smaller roast size. So we're at 500 grams, that's a nice middle of the road. Our rate of rise is about nine degrees. This is in Celsius. I need to be using Fahrenheit, but I'm so accustomed to the Celsius that I just leave it on that. And they're still pretty green. We're just putting lots of heat into those beans right now. Make sure to point that back down. Our bean temp right now is about 120 degrees.
And I'm probably going to start inching up the heat. And we're going to do a heat of 40. I think I had it on 20 before. Let's see if it goes up. It might need to be more than that. We're going to throw it on 60. I want that, that rate of rise to get up to maybe about 13 degrees. We can dial that back a lot at the end. So we're at about 6, and I can tell it's rising really rapidly. So now we're at 7, 7.5. We may even hit it with a bit more. So right now we're at about three and a half minutes. Our beans are about 127 degrees. They're increasing by about 10 degrees a minute, give or take. Don't want them to go too quick. Uh, I usually like my Delta bean temp to be Anywhere from 10 to 14, and it depends on the roast. We're at about 10 right now. Our beans are at 132 degrees pushing that. And we're kind of entering that mallarding stage where they're starting to brown just a little bit. We're going to leave this. We have a Delta BT of about 12. I think that's pretty good. Uh, 12 is about what I shoot for, 12 to 13. It might be a little bit warm. I think that'll be pretty good for this roast because usually on this M6, it has just so much power. It, it just seems to pump a lot more heat into these beans. A little bit too quickly at times, so not a bad thing. It's just got a little bit more power. Okay, we're at about the six minute mark. Or maybe, yeah, it's still a pretty good rate of rise, I would say, on the bean temp. Our beans are about 100, we're pushing 160 degrees. You can see we're deep into the mallarding stage, so you're getting lots of brown on those green beans. And we're starting to get to the point that we're going to hit first crack. So once first crack hits, that seems to be when things get pretty serious. You'll want to make sure that everything's pretty much ready to go. Uh, you'll need your bin at the bottom. We're not going to drop them as soon as first crack hits, but as soon as first crack starts, we're going to definitely start needing to do quite a few things. I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit. Our heat, I've been fluctuating between 50 and 60%. Our set value is 175. Uh, the drum, again, I like to run that at 100 pretty much all the time, and the damper is at 40. So our beans are at 170 at the moment. We should start seeing first crack at about 190-ish, depending upon the beans. It's been a little while since I roasted these beans, so it could be a little bit sooner or later. Let's pull one out. Oh, drop some. I always drop them when I do the camera. So they're getting really nice and dark. <clears throat> they're not quite to that, that point where they're going to start cracking. So we're at 7 minutes and 40 seconds. I'm going to put the heat up a little bit more again. We seem to be kind of dropping off a little bit. Maybe a bit too much. And we're at that 180 degree point on our beans. So we should probably start seeing a crack within the next 5 to 10 degrees. I can hear our first just small pop. So that means we're going to get ready for the first crack. I don't like to mark it when it just starts to pop a little bit. I can see some smoke coming out the exhaust in the back. I have this exhaust tube and I might pull it out on the driveway a little bit better. So 
So we're having quite a bit of smoke come out. And we're definitely hitting that first crack point. We're still at about 13 degrees ROR. Uh, I'm gonna actually up the damper. Let's say to 60%, kind of get some of that smoke out of there. I don't want a lot of smoke on those beans. Our bean temp's 193. So we can probably turn the heat back to maybe 60. And I should have said first crack start. Um, that'll give us our percent development. So we're a bit late on that. If you look, we're getting into that very initial phase of light roast. And unfortunately, all this smoke is blowing back into my garage, but it's too late in the roast to go mess with. So we're at about 199 degrees. And I want to get pretty serious about dropping these at 200, 204 degrees. So we're at 202. We're going to cut our heat back. We're going to put our damper way up, get some of the smoke out. And I can see all that smoke just dumping out right now. We're at 204 degrees. And I'm going to say let's dump it. It's ready. So let's click drop. And it automatically is going to trigger the fan and it's going to blow all that smoke out. I have my little wooden spoon that I use. The roaster actually comes with one. This one didn't come with it. I have this bigger one that I've used for quite a while. You can shake it. That does help a little bit. Uh, the spoon does a really good job. And you'll want to make sure to keep it going. And I'm just gonna let it go. Even though they're, they're, they've are they been cool for a bit, I really like to get them completely cool. Just really stop that roast. You can feel so much air just sucking through this, it's crazy. So there's a basic roast using the Kaleido M6. Again, this is an espresso blend, so real nice, medium roast. It's, it's on the lighter side of medium. I'd say quite even. Uh, I've done several roasts like this on this M6. I, I'm still getting used to the M6. I'm not quite used to it like I am some of the smaller roasters, but it's really just next level large machine. It might not be for everyone. Uh, it's a little bit on the large size. This isn't even as many beans as you can do, and it's quite a few. So I've been really, really impressed with these larger Kaleido roasters. We'll be looking at a Kaleido M10 here soon. So that'll be really interesting. It's a kilo roaster. So this is 700 grams max, and we did 500. So it does not quite two and a half times as many so a little less than three times so does quite a few beans and that can be really good for a small shop or someone that's wanting to sell small quantities of beans but really cool so let me know if you have any questions on the m6 we're going to do some comparison videos coming up uh, i have a friend with a bullet and i have a friend with a comorant so we're going to do a little bit of head-to-head -head roasting and do a little roast off. They're much better roasters than I am, but it's still gonna be fun. We're gonna see what they think about the Kaleido because they've been using their roasters for quite a while. Uh, the Bullet guy, probably at least two years, and the Comorant guy, probably at least a year. So I've had this M6 for less than three weeks, and I've been using three different roasters. So I've used the M1 for about six months and kind of got over the learning curve. But this M6, it's definitely a little bit next level. And it's going to be really cool. So we're going to talk about 
maybe some things that you like or don't like and try to see if there's one that really works for your needs. So uh, I've been giving out some beans. These are already spoken for. That's why I'm roasting a couple extra this evening. But make sure to subscribe. I'm going to do some live uh, roasting sessions. I'll probably do them mostly on Instagram at Porta Keeper, at least for now. But I'll probably do some on YouTube as well. I think Hoon and I are planning to do a live roast. Could be pretty soon, so make sure to watch out for that. That's going to be really fun. Hoon's a lot of fun, so thanks again, everyone, for watching.